this time I'm going to show to you how to create an SQLite database file, particularly the one we used in our previous Swing app. In the student database Swing app, we have the student.sqlite located in this directory. Okay, so I delete that for us to start all over again to create that SQLite database file. So, as I've mentioned already to you, I use this one, the SQLite Manager app, to create the SQLite database file. So, this is unregistered version, a demo version, but anyhow, it could be used to create an SQLite database file. So, let's click OK. And to create a new SQLite database file, you click this one and uh, say you call it student.sqlite save okay so we have here now our database and in here we are going to create tables so what we're going to create is just one table so we click this one to add a table and let's call it student and then click this one okay to add the columns or the data fields of the database table so column one we'll call it id and as i have discussed before it is a primary key therefore you click this one to mean that it is a primary key no duplicates for id and it is text type and the second column would be name it's text type it's not a primary key, so we don't click that one for the rest of the columns. Next is course. It's text. Next is year. Year is type integer, so we change that one. And take note that as we create or add columns or data fields this sql command in here is automatically generated so the sql command is to create a table with the name student and the first column is the label is id and it is a primary key and the type is text okay the second column is name and the type is text the third column is course and the type is text and the fourth column is year and the type is integer okay so as we add more columns this sql command will be completed so next after year is gender gender is text next is score okay so say our score is double type and next is total total is say double next is grade grade is say double next is the remark remark is text and lastly the tenth column or data field is cleared so the type is boolean okay because the values are true or false okay so once we have already specified all the column labels this sql command is automatically generated it's complete and then we click create okay so when we click that we have here the specs of our table okay next if you're going to add some student records we could just go to data click data and then we have here plus the plus here means you are going to add a new student record okay so click that and for the id say and the total is 100 and the grade is 83 and the remark is average and the cleared is say false okay and then we save it 
So notice that we already have here one student record, the one we have entered a while ago, the ID, the name, the course, the year, the gender, the score, the total, the grade, the remark, and the cleared for clearance. Okay. So if ever you want to edit some of the values, you could just say click this one here and change this to three, okay, third year, and update. So that becomes three now. And then cancel that one if you don't want to change it. So if you want to change something, you just have to click that and then say change this one to ECE, update, cancel. And to add second or new row, say third year, gender is female, score is maybe 90, total is 100, and the grade is 90. And then the remark is good, and cleared is a maybe true. Okay, and then save. Okay, so we have that already here. Okay, the second row with the row ID 2 or the second. Then you just cancel that one if we don't want to edit. So again, you just click the value if you want to change it. So this time, let's check if there is already an SQLite database file created in our directory. Okay, so again, remember it's DriveD, CP121, Java. Okay, so there we have it already, the SQLite database file. Okay, so let's just close this one or minimize. And you can exit. So if you want to open it again, double click. And this is the one that we have recently created. So click on that, click open, or you can just double click it. Student, okay, so there we have it again those two records we entered a while ago.